Well, thanks everybody uh, for joining today. Uh, we did one of these last week and the week before that, we've had some good feedback. Um, so we wanna continue to educate everyone out there, let them know what we're thinking. And everything seemed to be so negative. We wanna kind of give you 10 things that we know that you can do or at least should be thinking about here uh, during this time period. Don't gamble with individual stocks. I've already told you about some of the, the stories that I've heard, but let's take a look at some people that are out there selling this kind of stuff, right? So Fortune Magazine in, in uh, August 14th, 2000, 10 stocks to last a decade. They identified four sweeping trends that appeared certain to transform the way we work and interact. They sought out the best stock pickers in the country, right? So this isn't like, you know, Joe at, at, the, at the golf course or, or, or Karen in the cubicle next to you. These are the best ones in the world. These people get paid millions of dollars to sell. I mean, I mean to give you the best advice, stocks. So 10 stocks last ne the, uh, the last decade over the next 27 months, down 62%. I guess Fortune got that one wrong. How'd they do over the next decade? Minus 47%. People that are actively picking individual stocks, if they get it right, they're lucky. So Fortune said, let's try it again. July 24th, 2000, smartest guys in Wall Street. This guy even got a fancy uh, letterman's jacket and then, and then got to go on the cover. Oracle, July 5th, 2000, $72. They said target 115. December 2002, 1080. 14 years later, later, came back up to 40 bucks. CMGI, July 5th, 2000, 440, screaming by. You were screaming all right, all the way down to 98 cents. 2016 came back to a buck 30. Got a couple, got a, got a couple bucks back. Global Crossing, $26, could triple in a year. I think triple to zero is still zero. WorldCom. Right, I do this. I talk about these things oftentimes at uh, some college educational courses that we teach. Right, everyone's like, "Ooh, usually I get that because they own something like this." Right, and so this could be right. And I know it's hard to, to imagine. This could be your Tesla. This could be your your Boeing's. This could be your Delta, American Airlines. Th these things can happen to to companies that that we know, understand, and trust. Dirt cheap doesn't get cheaper than that. Right, so there will be some individual stocks out there that don't make it through this know that don't put all your eggs in one basket stay diversified we've already showed you the power of having the diversification in your portfolio and staying disciplined <laughs>